Hello you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to be sharing with you one of my latest orchid blooms as well as some care tips. With that said, this is a catacetum type orchid. I'm a Cloesia in um, to be specific. And the name of this orchid is called a Cloesia Rebecca Northern grapefruit pink. Now this is originally a hybrid from Sunset Valley Orchids and they specialize in all catacetum type orchids from actual catacetum to cloesias to mormodias and etc. Now I got this orchid many months ago from a friend. Now when it comes to catacetum orchids let's start here. They experience a dormancy period in which they do not, you don't water them whatsoever. So, for example, this orchid hasn't been watered a drop of water. It might have got a little mist, but as far as like a thorough watering, I haven't watered it in five months, you guys. Okay? And yes, it will still bloom during dormancy. And from what I've seen, it's very common that these type of orchids bloom during their dormancy. So here's what dormancy looks like. And as you can see, there's no leaves. Oops. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys one of the Cloesias that I have that is coming out of dormancy. So you can kind of see what that looks like. So this is another Cloesia that I have. And as you can see, it has activated a new growth node and some leaves are coming back up. Once it gets mature, it will plump up like these pseudobulbs right here and is growing some roots. Now, the premise is that you don't want to water these in dormancy until they fully come out of dormancy and the root, the new roots are at least four inches long. So back to the main character. Now, let's go more in depth about this orchid. So, I first seen the flower spike in late December, and I'm going to insert a photo of what that looks like. So, it took a little over a month, which is pretty quick <laughs> in comparison to other orchids, um, to bloom. Like, I had a phalaenopsis that just bloomed for me that literally took, I seen the spike. The spikes in maybe early July late June so literally about seven months yeah it's <laughs> a bloom so this bloom was pretty quick as far as fragrance it's a really strong and when I say really strong really strong lemon balm fragrance okay and as far as the lighting I want to say medium to high light the same amount of light that I give my Cattleya orchids. If you don't have any Cattleya orchids and you're interested, um, and you might have a light meter on your phone or actual light meter device, medium high light would probably be around 1500 to 2000. Uh, was uh, is it Lux or foot candles? I, I'm think I'll I'll make the correction. Okay, so yeah. This was not as hard to grow. I've been wanting catacetums for a while and I was so blessed to have acquired them finally and just, you know, break down that wall of intimidation. In my opinion, okay, the fact that you don't have to water them <laughs> for several months at a time makes them easier <laughs> than all the others. The key thing is just the light and, you know, humidity perhaps. The average humidity in my growth space is from 50 um 50 to i want to say 80 uh so let's bump that up to average humidity of 60 percent and yeah you guys so now let's just take a look at these flowers oh this is so beautiful you guys it looks so dreamy like something off of oh, I got a little hair there <laughs> but yeah they look like something off of a fantasy video game i love the colors and just especially the lip the frills that is so beautiful to me you guys 
So with that said, I hope that you enjoyed this. This is simple. I encourage you guys, if you don't have orchids, don't fear. <laughs> okay, in my opinion, they're actually easier to grow and care for than traditional house plants, in my opinion. And I think they're obviously more rewarding because you get these beautiful blooms and there's just thousands and thousands of different orchids with different flowers and colors and things like that so it's literally fun you know <laughs> uh with that said uh yeah this is pretty much it and thank you for watching this video